We first started uh, the company about a little, um, a little over five years ago, and we redesigned the product um, to be really easy for a woman to use, and really easy in terms of comfort, but really easy in terms of confidence that she can collect a sample. Then we ran a clinical trial, a 16-site nationwide clinical trial, and this is where I think women really came to play. We found that anecdotally, 80% of women asked to be in our trial said yes, because they wanted this to <laughs> exist in the market. Um, and so our clinical trial took only about six months. And then through that, we also had such exceptional data that we were able to get the FDA breakthrough device designation. So that's when the FDA says, you know, this is so important to public health that we want it sooner. How did the pandemic help people understand what it is you were trying to do? The pandemic showed everyone that telehealth is a thing that is preferred and welcomed and um, made it easier to get care for most Americans in general, but also obviously during the pandemic. And also we saw that self-collect, or sorry, at-home testing um, was a thing that people could handle and really understand. And so then from an investor standpoint, we're talking about a cancer screening that is for all women ages 25 to 65, that's 92 million women. When it comes to investors, they understand how big a market is. For both doctors and women, a really important part is, does it work, right? In our clinical trial, we found that we had the exact same accuracy as the doctor, which is 96%. And so women and doctors can now trust this. And this is an important thing because it's a cancer screening. And so we're finding that women already wanted it. 94% of women in our trial preferred it to the standard of care. And then doctors, every doctor wants to make sure a woman has more options to getting screened. Will doctors be a little concerned about this because, you know, they need the patients to come into the office and yes, you get your screening, but there are other things that happen on those visits. We find that doctors actually are really appreciative because this gives them more time to speak with their patients on those, on those years that you had a cervical cancer screening scheduled. So it takes about 10 minutes of an already 10 to 20 minute visit to do the cervical cancer screening. So if a woman can get that done before, it leaves more time for the doctor to have that connection and really make sure a woman's healthy. Will you close the loop and report it to a woman's doctor? A cervical cancer screening is only as effective as the triage, right? So it's really important that you understand your results and take the next steps. So what happens with Teal is you would come to Teal, you'd meet with a provider. Via telehealth. Via telehealth, yes. Explain how, the wor how it works. Um, and then write the prescription for the kit and order the test to the lab. It's the exact same primary HPV test that is being done in the office that we order. Then um, the kit gets sent to the woman at home. She collects privately, takes about five minutes on average and sends the sample back to the lab. The lab process it again on the exact same test that is done in, at the doctor's office. If a woman is abnormal and has, needs to have a follow-up, we have another telehealth visit with her to explain her results and refer her into her in-person triage. Today, 75% of women are not taking the follow-up steps. Um, and so we think that extra visit and that extra time with the patient can actually really improve that. Show me how it works. What's coming home is this really easy, um, beautifully designed wand. It's comfortable. It's very similar to a tampon. And then what happens is you would insert it and then you would rotate the sponge. You rotate it 10 times. It's a very soft sponge. Um, and then retract it and pull it out and then you actually pop off the, the sponge and mail this to the lab. Another really important thing is that this is um, able to go into the USPS. So you don't have to go to a FedEx, so this is great no matter where you live. And so you do want to send the sample back in within 24 hours, but then it can go in the regular mail and get to the lab and be processed. What's your hope for having this service out there? Cervical cancer is an entirely preventable disease, but one in four women are behind on their screening, and screening is how we eradicate cervical cancer. So for me, it's about making sure that nobody has cervical cancer, um, whether it's your family member um, or a friend, but it is really about making sure all women have an option to stay screened, because screening is how we will eradicate cervical cancer in the U.S.